We are here to do an interview and nothing but an interview. So guys, this is Luke and today we are doing an interview uh, with my mum. Hi. <laughs> we don't have Mummy Lan with us because um, she is ill. So let's get to the interview. A, rad a radical... A radicalist Muslim on a crime watch list opened fire on three police officers at a road check before attacking a soldier at Paris airport. The gunman launched his first attack after being stopped at a road north of the city, shooting a policewoman in the head. He then held up a woman, Morris, at gunpoint, stealing her car and driving to Orly Airport. In the airport tem terminal, the attacker assaulted the p the patrol 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 of three count uh, terrorism soldiers, wrestling one of them to the floor and trying to take her gun. The man was shot dead by patrol officers as they attempted to protect uh, the women and members of the public airport. Ort. Question 1. Why do you think this happened? Um, I can't honestly tell you why this happens. Um, it, it's a I'm saying why you think. So, what's your opinion, really? My opinion is that this person was forced to believe things that aren't true. And I think that the word radicalised is important there because the word radicalised literally means um, made radical, made to have radical ideals and radical beliefs and things like that and the radical part of that is the problem question two why do you think think these shootings do not happen in england i think you have to understand that french laws are very very similar to english laws uh, they have very similar gun policy to what we have um, they have very similar laws and very similar rules and sometimes things like this just happen and there's no really nobody could have handled it any better than they already did nobody could have um, probably done more than they have already done although there will be an investigation into it um, and I think things like this can happen I mean don't forget we have armed police at our airports they are armed you know, so an, an, an airport where historically a lot of terrorist acts have happened, a lot of hijacks um, of planes, 9-11 and all of that sort of stuff has happened. There it's OK to carry guns, you know, if they need to. And this person didn't have a gun themselves, but managed to steal what was trying to steal one. So, I think it is just a fluke. You were wrong. The reason was because there are no airports in England. They're all in London. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolute nonsense. Okay. There are airports throughout England. Okay, question three. I was just messing around there. Question three. What do you think will happen next? There is going to be an inquiry, more than likely an inquiry inquiry inquiries a form of public um, investigation in a way um, we have them in this country we have them where when something happens quite drastic we have an inquiry as to how it happened who knew about it why it happened and ultimately and um, we talked about inquiries remember when we did the video on someone getting a gun through um, security. security. There would would have been an inquiry into that. 
an, an inquiry is something that looks in it, but it's also very much in the public eye as well. The, the, the results of an inquiry are released to the public generally, unless it's a matter of national security. So there will be an inquiry next to find out if anybody could have done their job any better. But you have to understand that sometimes it doesn't matter how well people do their jobs. Sometimes things happen. And I think this is one of those situations where, yes, it's horrific, but things happen. And something has happened. Um, but I don't, I don't believe that the uh, French government, and certainly not the people involved in it, could have necessarily done better than they already did. Even though um, this happens a lot, it is very rare that will, it will happen at the same time that you're in an airport. But <laughs> just stay safe. That's all the support I can give you because I can't like... Actually, I could reach through the TV. TV. Reach through whatever you're watching on, grab your hand and pull you through to where I am and we can all have a massive party and be safe. But no, I can't do that. I would if I could. But I can't do that. But anyway... Hey, we need to quickly say goodbye to... Okay, Mummy, would you like to say bye? Bye. You brought it out. <laughs> you throw me out. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Tune in next week for more interviews. So, yeah, like for more and subscribe to join Team Trouble 15. And, well, peace out. Bye.